do yeah. is adore you all of the time. I like to come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as y'all can probably already tell from the title, today I'm going to be cleaning out Rhino's cage. So today I'm mostly just going to be cleaning out his larger cage because this is the one that I need to clean out. The other one I cleaned out like the week prior to filming this video so I didn't really need to clean that part out super much but I'll show you guys what I do with the smaller cage in a minute. As you guys can see I just took out Rhino of the cage and I put him in my bathroom to run around in there and now I'm just taking out all of the toys and bedding and everything. You guys probably know the drill at this point. This is I'm not even sure how many of these videos I've made, but you guys really seem to enjoy them, so I'm just going to continue making them. I don't know, maybe I'll like film one every time I, you know, clean out this cage or something, or do an interesting theme, I'm not really sure, but yeah, I just enjoy filming them. So, right now I'm just kind of scooping out uh, some of the bedding. I like to leave some of the bedding in there just to have a similar smell. And then I'm putting in the new bedding, so I'm mixing it with the old bedding. And as you guys can see, I am using the natural colored KT Clean and Cozy. I actually did not even know they made a natural colored KT Clean and Cozy. Like, I have only ever seen the white. So I thought it was really cool that they make a natural because I think that it just looks really nice. And I have been trying to make my cages look a lot more natural lately. So I really liked that. You guys will notice how many times I had to change the location of that hideout. I changed it like three times. Just wondering, but do your guys' hamsters pee in the exact same spot in their sand bath like every time? Because Rhino always pees in like the exact same location and it's the weirdest thing. But anyways, now I am on to the smaller cage, so I'm kind of just spot cleaning this cage, and what I just did is I just took out the bedding that was around the sand bath, and I'll explain why that is later. And I also just cleaned out that sand bath. I like put it in water and I scrubbed it a lot because Rhino loves to pee in that sand bath. Okay you guys, so this is the finished cage tour. Now again, I am going to add in the wheel over here. Once I take it out, I just put it in the bathroom with the rhino so that he can run around on it while I clean his cage because I never like to take it out for too long. And he is a literal wheel maniac. He's constantly running on his wheel, so I just wanted to give that to him while he did that. But So this one's obviously a lot more natural than this one just because like this is like rainbow and this is kind of pink, so that's not super natural, but I still tried to add in the rocks, you know, just to give him some different texture, maybe file down his nails a little bit, give him this whimsies, and I'm going to go through this whole cage over here, which I did not really clean this cage out much today. Mostly what I did is I cleaned this out. I scrubbed this because he always pees in here and it always, mm, it just smells so bad. So I had to literally scrub this sand bath and clean out the sand and then the bedding around it too. Because whenever he's like peeing, he like pees into the sides. Yeah, kind of TMI, but so there's that. And then I also added a couple more inches of bedding over here. And I'm like kind of trying to cover it a little bit to like make it look a little bit more buried and natural. But it is a couple inches high. You can see like I have this kind of like corralling the bedding. There's also this, which I just do want to say. Sorry, I had to change positions and move the ring light. But anyways, so normally I don't add a hideout in this cage just because he usually only sleeps in that cage. But I decided to put this hideout in here because I've never really used it. And it really it looks really natural. It's definitely Syrian sized. I like that it has like a, a hole over here too, so he can climb in there. And then there's this bendy bridge which I just attached that he can climb up and go into here, which I think is cool. And actually there's another little place where I can put a bendy bridge. So I will probably be taking another bendy bridge and maybe putting it out here. I don't know. Depends on how the wheel fits in here, which that's where the wheel is gonna be. And then over here we actually have a wicker tunnel that I just covered so it can kind of be like a little cave and I, I might like hide some treats in there or something. So I think that's going to be really great. Also I am using the natural colored KT Clean and Cozy because 
it is natural and it's honestly just what my mom bought. I, I like the brown color. I think it is nice, a little change from the white that I always use. And then over here, of course, we have just this white log. I, I love my white log. Y'all probably heard me talk about it a lot, but it's just from Petco Driftwood. This I got from Amazon, and this I think I also got from Amazon a while ago, like a long time. And then we just have, I always like to put like a little bit of millet in here. I think it just gives it like a natural, nice look. By the way, I am hopefully going to be buying some Eco Earth substrate for Rhino, so hopefully he can dig in that. And I'm also wanting to get some oat sprays, so I actually already ordered both of those things from Amazon, so I'm really excited to get those and add them into the cage. But anyways, over here we just have his corner sand bath that he loves to death. I had to scrub this part so much because it was just really gross, but it's very clean now, so... And there is a little bit of the old bedding in here too, just to give it that similar smell. Okay, so moving on to this side, I didn't um, clean the bedding too, too much besides from adding more over here and cleaning it a little bit up over there. It doesn't need it all the time, but I do have to clean it out more than this one because it's, it's a smaller cage, so it needs to be cleaned out more. So anyways, we have this little wooden ball chew toy thing that's honestly just in here for show. A lot of y'all told me to put peanut butter on his wooden shoes and I'm definitely going to be doing that in a future video so if you want me to try that out and see how Rhino likes it as like trying like a little hamster hack type thing maybe I'll like make a series I don't really know but if you guys know any other hamster hacks that I should try out comment them below you already know it's just a little sand bath he loves using this I like having sand baths in both cages because he uses them seriously like all the time we have just like this little tunnel that he can crawl through and climb on we have this little whimsies chew. He loves whimsies so much. Please get your hamster whimsies if you don't have them already. Then he just has his little pink igloo. I know that this is like not the most fun or natural. Like I feel like this is kind of basic for a hide, but it's one of my only Syrian sized hides. I really don't have too many Syrian sized ones. I have a lot more dwarf and robo sized ones. So I, I'm kind of limited in my hides for rhino so i kind of like am switching between like my favorite three so i am going to try to get him some more hides in the future so that it can look a little bit more natural and not just so basic but of course if this is your hide it's there's nothing wrong with it um it's just like i said a little basic anyways though we have another little bendy bridge and then another rainbow bridge just holding in the bedding and then we have these rocks like i talked about natural rocks and we have his water bottle, which I am about to go refill with some filtered water. And of course, I'm going to go get Rhino, see how he likes the cage, and put in the wheel. Alright you guys, I'm going to go get Rhino. Take him back in. Hello, baby boy. See, I told y'all, he is always on this wheel. Hi. Hi. Hi, Rayno. All right, well, I'm gonna grab him and put him back into the cage. So I just put the wheel back in and Rhino is exploring the new cage. I really hope he likes it. I think it's definitely a nice cage theme. I think he is really gonna enjoy it. I seriously hope he actually uses this house. Rhino is looking like a freaking snack right now. I think he just heard me say that. His ears are so adorable, they're so perked. For some reason, he always like sniffs so long at that piece of wood, especially like that little part of the wood. Hi. Hi. And now I'm going to go ahead and feed him and I think I might go actually do a little bit of some scatter feeding of his tropical carnival. Now I would not suggest giving your hamster this every single night but it is good for foraging. I think just giving your hamster a couple of them. It is just dried fruit and nuts so I'm not going to give him that many. I'm probably just going to give him like probably like that many and just sprinkle these like around the cage for him to go try to find. 
This is something really fun you can do even if you don't have other treats. If you have like sunflower seeds or just your seed mix, it's always a good idea to just kind of sprinkle that around the, the cage, give your hamster something to go and look for. I'm actually gonna scatter feed his food right now. Sprinkle it like on this piece of wood and just like all around. Rhino's in there right now, you guys. He's actually checking it out. I put in quite a bit of bedding. I would say at least six inches, maybe seven of bedding. And then over here, I put in at least, I'd say like five or six. I actually just gave him some fresh carrot last night. And see, he's already enjoying eating off of it. I'm gonna go ahead, connect both of the cages and call this video a night.